today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video and a detailed analysis of the Arteryx Cerium down hoodie. Down sweater actually because this guy is the hoodless version unfortunately. Quick facts about it, it has 850 European white goose down 9010. It is 315 grams, extremely lightweight. Like, of course this isn't the hooded version, but sure, even if I had the hooded version, out of all the down jackets I've been trying out lately, this is by far the lightest. So quick fit test, I'm 6'1", 175 pounds, not sure my chest. One cool thing that this jacket has to offer, well, there's two main things that why I get the Arteryx over anything else. Number one is that it's going to pack up to smallest, and number two is it's going to be the highest warmth to weight ratio. They talk a lot about how they have a 15 denier outer fabric and a 20 denier plant-based Arado something that's windproof and water resistant with a DWR finish. I really, 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 really love the whatever material that is that's on the outside of this thing. It doesn't just feel like a cheap plastic or the type of plastic that most other brands make their down puffers out of. Um, so for example, um, the Patagonia that I really love and is actually my favorite of all the down jackets I've looked at lately. While the Patagonia is my favorite over this guy, the material on this guy I like a lot more than the material they use on the Patagonia. This guy is going to run you $400 though, it is Arteryx, which is crazy expensive, so keep that in mind. Another thing I really like is the cuffs. They're not the type of cuffs that go over your hand, they're the type of cuffs that are literally just a ring. And I, I really like those cuffs on all jackets because it ensures that when you're doing things with your hands, you're not going to get your jacket like all torn up and covered in dirt. I hate when the, I hate when the cuff goes into my palm, I really don't like that. So, let's get to the negative parts of this jacket. One thing I really hate about this thing is that it has little tiny zippers. Very high quality zippers. When you zip it up and down, it's super smooth and it's never going to get caught on the jacket. I can guarantee that because they're so tiny. But, dang, I mean, these things are puny. Super smooth, definitely the smoothest zipper of, pretty much the smoothest zipper I've ever tried, but it just feels like it's, I'm sure it is durable, but just based on size alone, it feels like it could break easily. It looks like a zipper that should be on a purse or like a, something tiny. It just, it doesn't feel like a jacket zipper to me. If I had gloves on and this is a warm jacket, I'm generally going to be using it in the snow or in very cold temperatures where I'm going to have gloves. This is a zipper that I can barely find with my fingers. The little tiny piece of cord that's on the end of the zipper is, I mean, it's so lightweight and small, you can barely even feel it with your fingers. So with a glove, like if I had a glove on and I was doing this, I wouldn't even be able to tell where the zipper was at all, not even a little bit. This guy also has double-sided waist cinch straps, which is nice. It unfortunately does not have a two-way zipper and after ha owning a jacket with a two-way zipper for quite some time now, I honestly think that's almost a necessary thing to have. Whenever I sit down with any jacket on, the jacket always just pulls up and makes this big space of air. And uh, I love having a two-way zipper so that when I sit down, I can just zip it up a little bit and keep it flat to my body, which is super nice. I don't do any rock climbing or anything like that, but if I were to do that too, I just like having the option that I can use it as a BLA jacket. So overall, this is a Arteryx product. It's super high quality. I don't think that the Cerium has enough features and enough really in the jacket to make it worth $400 personally, but maybe the hooded version does have more. So another thing too is it has no internal drop pockets, which is sad to me. It seems like that's just such an easy thing to include in a jacket. Why not? Especially if you can charge 400 bucks. It has a internal chest pocket, which is super nice for storing your batteries or anything you want to keep warm uh, in here. And then you'll also find the stuff sack inside that pocket as well. The two big hand warmer pockets are not felt lined. They're just standard pockets and um, they're pretty, Pretty darn bulky too, which I like. 